After one of the most ridiculous record-breaking seasons in high school cross-country history, we are somehow seeing yet another installment of all-time greatness in 2022. And well, these athletes are setting yet another standard for all-time speed. In 2021, we saw the incredibly talented Newberry Park outperform any and all expectations, winning in dominant fashion across every single race, and then for their final competition of the season, they threw down a massive national record, averaging 14-14 at the Garmin Running Lane National Championships. Simply an incredible performance. Now, there have been questions raised as to whether or not this course was in fact a legitimate 5K performance. And it makes sense that so many people have raised this question, because in 2021 alone, the top 14 fastest times in the nation were all achieved on this course in the exact same competition. Despite the legitimate concerns surrounding this 5K course, it's also undeniable that Newberry Park reached a new level of greatness never before achieved during this very race. And up front breaking the individual national record was Colin Salmon, who ran a time of 14 minutes and 3 seconds, which comes out to 4 minutes and 31 seconds per mile. What a legend. From Newberry Park's new national record to a total of 79 athletes running under the 15-minute barrier, 2021 ended with one of the most memorable and historic days in high school athletics. But 2022 is quickly proving to be just as exciting, and what we saw over these previous few days changes absolutely everything. Now, heading into this year's Nike Cross Country Regional Races, we've already had various athletes run well under the 15-minute barrier for the 5K. However, the moment that these races began, it was apparent that many, many more athletes from across the nation were ready to break this barrier. In the Northwest, we saw Tyrone Gorzy break yet another course record at 14 minutes, 51.6 seconds. And man, did he ever make this performance look easy. At the Heartland Regional Race, we saw an incredible finish between Jackson Heidich and Simeon Birnbaum, both finishing in 14 minutes and 39 seconds. Even though it clearly looks like the finishing time was 1438, the official result showed 1439. In the California XC prelims, we saw Lex and Leo Young practically jog their way to a sub 15 minute 3 mile performance, looking quite fresh in these aviators might I add. But what had to be the single most exciting race on this day was what happened in the Midwest regionals, and up front showcasing his absolute dominance was none other than Hunter Jones. Now, competing in this regional race was a huge amount of national talent, including Cole Matheson, Connor Ackley, Benny Anderson, and the sub-four-minute miler as a junior, Connor Burns from Southern Boone County High School. Heading into this 5K, both Burns and Jones had almost identical season's best over the 5K distance, both running times of 14 minutes and 32 seconds, which also placed them in the top 10 times in the entire nation. It was clear even before this race began that this 5K event was going to be an extremely competitive showdown. But with one of the fastest times ever run in high school 5K history, Jones sprinted with exceptional speed over the final 100 meters, taking down Connor Burns with a time of 14 minutes, 21.8 seconds, defeating Burns who finished in 1427.3. This was a huge personal record. In fact, it was such an incredible performance that it broke the course record at the Laverne Gibson 5K by 26 seconds, which is well over 100 meters beyond the previous course record. And his performance also earned him the single fastest overall speed rating of any high school athlete this season. Man, Hunter Jones was just on another level here. From this cross-country season, Jones has maintained a pretty remarkable undefeated record. He's run under 15 minutes on seven separate occasions, he's won 12 straight races, including this incredible performance on a very big stage. Across the nation, over the course of just a few hours, we saw a total of 13 individual athletes breaking 15 minutes for the 5K, with countless others running just outside of this 15-minute barrier. This is exceptionally fast, and I can only imagine just how fast these athletes are going to run when they do finally clash at nationals. And speaking of nationals, this year's NXN meet is currently slated to go down on December 3rd in Portland, Oregon. Now, if the weather is good and the course is dry, we very well could be in for an extremely fast time. 
But it will also be very unlikely that the national record of 14 minutes and 3 seconds will go down, because historically speaking, breaking 15 minutes at NXN is a very challenging task. Now, if all of these athletes were to compete at the Garmin Running Lane competition in Huntsville, Alabama, then I think we very well could be in for an individual national record, and we potentially could see a sub-14 minute clocking from some athlete on the day. However, it looks like most athletes will be headed to Portland, Oregon, to claim their spot at the Nike Nationals. It's honestly difficult to believe that so much talent has rapidly emerged on the national scene for cross country. But where exactly did all of this speed come from, and what does this mean for the next few years of athletics performances? From my perspective, it's difficult to say exactly why so many people are running so fast. It could be the shoes, it could be better training, or it could just be a slow and steady increase in competition over the previous few seasons. Now, all of these characteristics probably play at least some role in the massive influx of 5K talent, and even though we are on pace to seeing one of the fastest cross-country seasons of all time, the biggest result is likely to come in the spring of 2023. Now, before 2022, the sub four minute mile had only been achieved in 18 individual performances, dating all the way back to 1964. This means that for the majority of seasons, we didn't see even a single mile under four minutes, from Jim Ryan's incredible 355 back in 1965, to Alan Webb's 353 in 2001, to Hobbs Kessler setting a new indoor record at 357 in 2021, the sub four minute mile has historically been one of the most elusive and difficult barriers in all of high school sports. But then 2022 happened, where a total of seven sub four miles were run, more than any other year in high school history. After an amazing 2021 cross-country season, and then an unforgettable 2022 track and field season, we are yet again seeing some of the most amazing performances from high school athletes. However, I still think that the best is yet to come, because in addition to Connor Burns and Simeon Birnbaum, both returning to the track in 2023 as sub-4-minute milers, it seems as though we are on pace to have many more sub-4-milers entering the picture during this upcoming track season. Now, a few months ago, I talked with Colin Salmon about the future of the high school mile, and his perspective on this topic was very intriguing. I mean, I'd say it's definitely becoming more achievable. I think just the sport is evolving, and it's become people are starting to realize like that that's not as fast as some people may think. I mean, it's obviously very fast. I'm not mm -hmm. <laughs> sub four is crazy. Yeah, but um, I think a lot of people are starting to realize, oh, like these people are doing it why can't i do it so because we had leo run four flat lex 401 aaron 401 like they're right there i think next year those three like all three from one team will break four i, I think so i think that'll happen That'd be amazing but yeah for sure um but i think it's just it's becoming less of a barrier for people and people are really starting to be like it's doable like they're not think seeing it as like a sub four wall they're seeing it as like like they, they can go past it. And I think that's with just the sport evolving with the new shoes coming out, people are really starting to just see it differently than other people did back then. These previous few seasons of high school athletics have been wild, and this cross country campaign is certainly no exception. So now with nationals now looming just a few weeks from today, expect even more greatness from these amazing athletes. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, until next time.